Well, a tragedy is unfolding. Most people will see tragedies only when it comes with a bang. But if you are sensitive, you can see it happening all around you. It's not that suddenly we thought of safe soil movement. Last twenty-six, twenty-seven years we've been working on this. So some of the world bodies, what they predict is, in another twenty-five, thirty years, India is going to face such a serious drinking water shortage. In the last fifteen, twenty years, many small streams and rivulets that you had seen when you were children no more exist, they're just gone. It's not a joke, this will bring untold suffering to human race, untold suffering. The way you're handling the land in the next fifteen years' time, there'll be no monsoons for you. Only storms will come, huge fury of rain which will just drain the soil. Both environmentally and otherwise, it looks like our intention is to leave a desert for our children, not a live world. It's time we did something about it. If we don't do this, there is no point being a human being. These sixty million people in Tamil Nadu, if they realize what needs to be done, just in five years' time you can have the whole place green. Today, the spotlight is on a project called Green Hands in India. We started a mass campaign and uh, six years I spent planting trees in people's heads. That's the most difficult terrain, believe me <laughs> It's unfortunate that seven lakh trees is a Guinness record. I want to see that everybody breaks the record. Hundred and fourteen million trees if you plant in Tamil Nadu, thirty-three percent green cover will be there. So a time has come, if you don't fix it, there'll be nothing to fix after some time. The planting trees thing came up, essentially because we wanted to save the soil. If farmers are committing suicide, just now it's not the bank, it's the land. The land is getting weaker and weaker. Yes, we're pumping poison into the earth like crazy. Suppose all the worms got poisoned, they died in big numbers, let's say. People will die in millions, just like that. I took thousands of people, what they are breathing out, the trees are inhaling. What the trees are exhaling, they are inhaling. Bringing this experience into people, that what you think as myself is not within the boundaries of your physical nature, it goes well beyond that. This is not a protest, nor is this an agitation. This is a campaign to raise awareness that our rivers are depleting everyone. When I say everyone, everyone who consumes water must rally for rivers. Why this journey? It may not happen in our lifetime, but we have to set the direction now for a solution. The water that comes down in the form of rain, we are not able to put it into the soil, mainly because there is no organic content and there's not enough trees and vegetation. If we plant these 242 crore trees, your lakes will be full, your wells will be full, above all, soil will be damp most of the year and that is what is needed. This is why Kaveri calling.
the very body that we carry is soil. Without soil being rich and well, this body and every other life cannot be well. So in terms of ecology, in terms of climate change, the most important thing is that we need to have a conscious approach as to how we manage our soil, how we rejuvenate our soil, how we revitalize our soil. Conscious Planet is launching Save Soil Movement to bring about a policy change to regenerate soil. As a part of this, <laughs> I'm 65 and I'm riding 30,000 kilometers, a lone motorcycle journey, 30,000 kilometers across 24 nations to activate support from the citizenry to assure the governments long-term investments will be appreciated. So it's extremely important that soil regeneration is enshrined in the policy of every government on the planet. We must change the narrative on the planet that soil is a wealth, a legacy we have received from previous generations and we have to pass it on as living soil for future generations. We are in a cusp of time, if you do the right things now, in the next fifteen to twenty-five years, we can significantly turn this situation around and regenerate the soil. But if we allow this to progress like this for another thirty to forty years, after forty years if we attempt this, then it could take hundred and fifty to two hundred years because that much loss of biodiversity would have happened. From twenty-first of March for one hundred days, the whole world, every human being on the planet should talk soil. So we must hear the word soil, save soil everywhere to see that the narrative on the planet changes towards the most vital aspect of our life, the soil. Each one of you should reach as many people as you can to make this happen. Many global leaders and influencers are already participating in the movement. Be a part of this and let us make it happen. From my part, uh, as much as I can contribute, we are going to save the soil, do your part. And saving the soils... Our future, our children's future, and our planet's future depend on it. Save the soil. We know what we must do, so let's make it happen. 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 Let's make it happen.